Oh, sorry. Hello, but welcome to the United Way TV. I'm Rav Dukan. I just want to give you guys my excuse. Please, guys, I'm feeling really bad. I was in the dentist yesterday. You can see my jaw. It's like I didn't fight with Mike Tyson. I, I fought with a needle, you know. So, um, yeah, I'm feeling really bad. I didn't do a video yesterday. But, yeah, we'll try to say something today and uh, give you guys the latest transfer Manchester United news. Oh, fuck. But, yeah, uh, so uh, uh, let me just tell you guys. We'll talk about... Um, Eric Tenag being sacked today. We'll talk about Bruno Fernandes' new contract. You remember when we told you guys about you Bruno Fernandes being sold? We'll talk about Yo Yono, Lero Leono, the France wonder kid. Uh, prospects of him being a Manchester United player because there have been some rumors that there is uh, that United has made a bid already today. We'll give you guys also about um, Casemiro, who mo most of the English press think he's a flop for Manchester United. He has signed a contract with a club, but not as a player, but maybe as a trainer. But let's start with that. Let's just go with the Bruno story. You remember when I told you guys, uh, uh, guys, before we start, please click the like on the video. Thanks for all of you subscribing. We have had 20 subscriptions for a week. For this small channel, it's a lot. I must be honest with you guys. We want to hit 10,000. I want to see if you guys can help us do that. Please, just 10,000. We will be doing live stream, talking, and knowing each other. We, have, we want to give you guys... We want to create an interactive community, not about me. Look, guys, I'm I'm well. I mean, I'm a well settled person. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I want to create a community where I talk with you guys, like we meet in the bar, and I will be doing some videos a lot in the stadiums in the uh, uh, Old Trafford this summer. So, guys, please stay tuned to the channel. Please share and let me go straight with the news. So, you remember I told you guys there was this uh, not me, but because we react to the news. Um, that uh, Bruno Fernandes uh, has said if they want to sell him, he should go. I mean, he's, he will go. That his standards needs to meet the standards of the club. That he wants to feel loved. The whole idea of players, when players said this, I said this in my previous video, is because they want a new contract. I know here in the United Way TV, we try to help you guys also understand the tactics of players and also understand most of you are young kids. Maybe you want, you're learning. Maybe learn, you want to be a pro footballer. Maybe you are not just a United fan, but... You want your son to be a footballer. There are some technical things you can learn uh, being part of our community. So Bruno Fernandes saying that he doesn't mean he wants to leave Manchester United. He says, I want to feel loved. How can a player who, who has been given the captain is saying he wants to feel loved? The main aim about that is the money. Bruno Fernandes sees that he has given a lot for Manchester United and he thinks he deserves a better contract. And because players in the modern football, there is no loyalty to football clubs. Players are not loyal to their clubs. Let me just tell you guys straight. If players were loyal to their clubs, Jason Sancho would not sit and play a um, video game instead to say, I'm sorry, I mean, to apologize and play for Manchester United. They are loyal to their salary. That's why you should, all those of you who support players and don't support clubs, you are, you are not a fan of a club. You're a fan of a player. And uh, I don't say shame on you, but uh, you have to know where you belong. So, uh, yeah. So, Bruno, the whole idea is about a new contract. His contract is, uh, he had signed the contract of Manchester United. And in 220, if I'm not mistaken, 220K. So, after tax, maybe 180 hmm. K a week. Uh, he's earning 220K a week. And he wants more money. You know, he wants more money. And it's very logical that he wants more because he thinks he's the captain, he thinks he has too much responsibility and this fight and this will be maybe his final big check as on the on the highest level. Maybe not in football, but at the highest level. So um uh, uh I think Manchester United is going to solve that. That's my view. The mirror came out with a story uh just yesterday, this morning, sorry, that Bruno Fernandez wants a new contract and um uh and uh, United are trying to say it. So it's here that Bruno Use three years Manchester. Okay, Bruno Fernandez uses three Man United teammates as a bargaining chip to land a new contract. So it, I told you this is just what's going on. Manchester United Bruno Fernandez is pushing for a bumper new contract amid increased speculation surrounding his future. The 29 years old has become the subject of interest of European giants by by Munich. That's Munich, Bayern Munich, Germany, Barcelona, following the financial fair play concerns. United are opening selling all but three members of the first squad. I think I told you guys before that I think the three players United are not ready to hear, hear offer from. Uh, Kobe Mueno, because Real Madrid might be behind there. Ganacho, because Real Madrid might be behind there. And also Rasmus Holland, which are young players. I think in the Inos group are going in a very... Uh, 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 uh very aggressive way it is also said that um 
It's also reported here that now that the, uh, the Guardian has reported Fernandez is seeking assurance over a standing at the United uh, and wants a new deal which would put him in the same wage brackets like Marcus Rashford, who's the, and in this appeal to N350, Marcus Rashford, Casemiro, and Jason Sancho. So tell me what you think below. I would like to hear from you as a fan. What do you think about Bruno Fernandes' contract? Do you think Bruno deserves a good contract? Because this is what it's all about, fan channels. It's not about me. It's not about reading the news. It's about interacting. What is your opinion about Bruno Fernandes' new contract? Tell me what you think below so we move straight to the next story. Because we want to do this short. We try to give you guys 10 to 15 minutes uh, of uh, news around the week. So let's go to the next big talk, talk around here. It, uh, story here. Yeah? Uh, that um, that Eric Tenak will be sacked today. And what is the day today? Today is the fifth. We are, they are hearing stories that Eric Tenak will be sacked today. And uh, uh, the whole idea came because, you know, it's a Manchester United fan. I have uh, uh, Eric Tenak historically uh, will... Well, sorry, Man United fan Eric, uh, have Eric Tenak sacked theory after now deleted social media posts. So it is reported that, um, that uh, Ganacho's brother... Uh, Ganacho's brother posted on, on X, uh, Twitter, um, about Eric Tenak potentially being sacked. Uh, I mean, about it, it text, uh, about, about uh, um, I mean, he, he posted, he, he liked, I think, uh, uh, a comment about Eric Tenak's sack theory, and that has posted most uh, outlets um, shouting, uh, confirming that Eric Tenak, the announcement might be done today and brought panic with United fans. Look, I, we are a small community, we are 3,000, maybe 500 or so, and um, so it, it sends, so there is a fra there is a this is the, the this is the the, the tweet actually uh, that that uh, tomorrow might be the worst day of my life. That's a, an account to call Frank uh, found Frank found Frank is a Dutch account. They said that tomorrow might might be the worst day in my life. Currently looking into the stars, tears building up my eyes. I can find something hard going. Then uh, Roberto Ganacho, which is uh, Ganacho's brother, says same. I'm not joking. Let us pray. So, but the tweet has been deleted. The mirror has picked it up and said, "Okay, this is uh, this might be signs showing that Manchester United will sack Eric Ten Hag." I, I don't know what you guys think about that. Look, I've told you guys why I think they have to stay. I've seen some people come here and say Ten Hag should be sacked without saying and so, without look. Ten Hag should be sacked is like I want to divorce and so what? You divorce and so what? You divorce in a relationship and so what? Are you the first person to get dissolved? You divorce when you want to divorce in a relationship, which is something like a bond. You need to know what's the next step, not the next step after immediately after you divorce, but who, how your life will look like after the process. So uh, I think this is just hot air. I'm one of those who think that Eric Tenak is going to stay because if the easiest thing to do was to sack him. They haven't done it, and if they do it, shame on them. I think that's rubbish. That's the wrong way of managing a club. You leave a player. I've told you guys, guys. If you haven't watched, guys, I'll put a, I'll pin the video. To, on the main comment today, you should see the five reasons I said Ten Hag should not be taxed. Please go and watch that video. You understand five reasons why Ten Hag should stay. Not because he's the best manager of the world. So uh, that's where I am um, uh, with uh, Ten Hag. Okay, talking about Ten Hag sack, there's another player who has gone really smart here. You have Casemiro who has uh, signed a contract. Casemiro has find, signed a new contract. Oh my God, oh my God. Casemiro signed a contract with FC Marbella. Oh, that's a Spanish club. Yeah, uh, in the south, of, uh, in the, the uh, Costa de la Sol, Mabea, uh, in Mallorca. And uh, he has signed a club there, not as a football player, but as, um, I think, the board. It's a club, which is an investment, actually, that he is. Uh, he has been joining um, a, 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 an investment uh, group there, trying to build up a club. And maybe normally what we're doing, what is done normally in the business today, you build up a brand and then you sell it when the value goes up. I think Casemiro, that's smart. This should be a lesson for our African players. For football players in general, but mostly African players, we have to know how to prepare for our retirement. This is exactly what Casemiro is doing. He won't play in Spain. I know, <laughs> yeah, but he, he won't play in Spain, except Real Madrid, would that, and that wouldn't happen. But uh, he is uh, uh, securing his uh, future. Guys, if you are getting some value, just give me that like, Tom, on the video so other fans will listen and learn. And uh, also drop your comments below. And uh, yeah, stay tuned with the United Way TV. So Casemiro has signed a contract, which is not a football contract, but a management football contract, which means not on the bench, but on a board. That's kind of an investment for him. Let's go with the big news here. Big, big, big news. Another uh, story uh, here is... Um, is 
it's a Manchester United uh, transfer. Uh, that's, yeah, that's, uh, yesterday there was this story that uh, Joan Noves, uh, uh, Manchester United made a beat on Joan Noves, no, Joan Neves, right? Joan Noves, Joan Neves. I, I did a, 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 a shot about this young guy, dynamic midfielder for sports team. Uh, and uh, he's a highly demanded player. I think he's a kind of Real Madrid City level. When I call Real Madrid City level, not because they are better than United, but because they are already, the, the club is already well drilled to get such players, you know. One of the reasons that Manchester United have done bad in the past decade is because we never built a team that would be stable. We always wanted a quick fix by bringing two players, star players, pay them crazy money, Football is playing by 11 players. You can't give all that reasons to one player. You see, Real Madrid, let me just put the situation here, like Kylian Mbappé, who is now uh, going to Real, who is assigned for Real Madrid, which we'll talk about it a bit later. But uh, l let's come about, let me just return back on this. So this guy who is, uh, who is uh, um, Lenny uh, uh, Euro, he's a very good player, which uh, you, the, the story that, the story today is Manchester United have uh, made a bid on this player. I don't know how true it is, but he's a player to watch. If Man he's a right back, right centre back, 18 years of age, top French international, and you know he reminds me of Varane. Real Madrid did the same thing with Varane. Took Varane out from France. Varane was 18 or so or 19, and gave Varane that that career that we know today. So I think you know uh, Lenny, you know, we want to follow Varane's uh, footsteps. I don't see him. Um, I don't see him come uh, playing for Manchester United, but except Real Madrid says uh, they are not interested. But there are two ways: either if he has to play for Real Madrid, either he 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 he, he just makes his mind that he wants to move on this year. But uh, but again, his uh, fee is over sixty million sixty million euros, and I don't think he, he is worth such a money at this age. Because uh, he, he, I mean, six, the, because the pressure of Manchester United. What I'm trying to say is that if we have a player who is that young, 18 years, the pressure will be just too much on him to cope. I would not go near such a player at this point of Man of Manchester United's uh, career, uh, uh, the Manchester United football teams. You you need to understand the way football is. There, not every player fits a certain club. The demand for United is to succeed now. Real Madrid, there are other players that can, you know, help to, 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 to bring up young players. Yes, you can say Kobe Mwenu is there and so on, but we can't just... I would go for a Tadibo if I had a choice. But tell me what you think about this guy if you have learned about the um, menu. But it, it's also, it, it is said that Real Madrid has told him to wait, that he shouldn't take the offer. So this is a situation here with, um, in regards to uh, Leno Yono. But he is really an exciting player, which... Uh, we, he, will, he will have a, he will, this word you'll be listening this word in the transfer news uh, Manchester United transfer news this um, coming summer because he's a player to watch and uh, yeah so uh, guys now is uh, the end of the video my mouth I wanted to continue but I am feeling really bad guys sorry you I don't know most of you have gone to the dentist at least once it's a really a terrible thing a, a terrible thing the dentist just looks like it's uh, when going to the dentist seems like Sunday when Monday you know it's working day it's, and it's, it's, it's a crap thing to be. But anyway, guys, thanks again for watching the video. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Please help us hit 10K. I think you can because some of you have started acting. We have had 20 subscribers just in less than a week. I think if we can do, if we can have 50 or 100 in in a week, we can hit the, the number before the season starts. And uh, we, will, we will be doing live stream. I want to be doing live stream. And I'm going to ask you guys a question below, which I want you to know. I want you to answer is it's about Eric Tenak. Who would you like to replace Eric Tenak? Who would you like to replace Eric Tenak? This is a very important question because that Eric Tenak in and out is a story of the summer. This is what Inos has done. In Inos, there are even some theory here is that uh, that uh, Inos are trying to use the ten yard the ten hack situation in order to kill time for transfer because if we have a new manager who comes in you want to sack him sack him have a new manager the fans will be looking who are the players coming in and it could be a strategy which we don't know but look this week is the fact it is the week where everything has to happen so stay tuned with us and uh, we will share our view and give you guys a breaking news whenever it is out anyway it's great speaking to you and talk to you soon bye bye